Hey everybody, today's book is called Night Terrors. It's an art therapy book for the Twisted by Lauren Claire. This is the second book from um, Lauren Claire. She's a new artist and I will post a link to her first book at the end of the video. Um, I did a review on that one a while back. It's called Witches and Whimsy. Uh, this one I have to say is a little bit um, more terrifying. <laughs> You know, everybody likes a good creepy movie or scary thing to watch all the time. This is a really, really good book for that. Okay, I colored a few pages. She had um, been really kind enough to send me um, some pages to download so I could color them before she released the book. So, look at that eye. So, um, I have a few pages that I colored. All right, let's see. Night Terrors. I love this. It's great. It is um, single-sided, non-perforated. It's from Create Space. The color of the paper is white. Right here, she um, explains that this second ther art therapy book is centered on her love of horror. Um, she pulls inspiration from comic books, movies, and her own dark experiences. And right here, if you want to pause, this is where you can follow her. And I will share the links down for this down at the bottom. Alrighty, and let's just start flipping. Oh, there's 20 pages, but it's one of those double books, so you'll get it twice in case, you know, you mess up or whatever. That's what I like. I, I always find that, you know, really appealing in books. This is creepy. I love it. I love everything about this book. And this is how I colored this page. Get the light back. I'm just, I was really excited about, at first I didn't like it, how I was coloring the colors, but then it came out so good, I really, really liked it. Okay, and then we got this crazy, crazy tongue thing going on here and I love her and this was how I colored her I just thought it was all flames inside her body like she was tormented from inside and she did in this this book she um, squared it off so the the pictures don't go off of the page, which is really great. How awesome is this? I already know what colors I'm going to use for this page. So creepy. Oh, and I forgot to mention, at the back of the book, she has a um, the Night Terror art themes, and she's got an, a, a number for every page and what they mean or represent it to her why she was you know why she drew them or why she put them in the book look at that isn't that awesome look at all the teeth it's so creepy this is from the front cover definitely would give me night terrors Oh, I love this. I love how she stitched up the mouth right here and the candles just melting down her face. This is one of my favorite ones in the book and I had a lot of fun coloring this one. This is my interpretation of it. This was a lot of fun to color. Anybody who loves the horror, they, you will enjoy color in this book. Look at this. How creepy is this? Oh my god, I can't wait to color this. She's like pulling out her own intestines. How disgusting. Love it. Yeah, this is not a children's book. Alright, and here we got the creepy, creepy porcelain doll with the knife. And this is how I colored it. I love how this one came out too. Can't really see the colors. I love it. Came out really, really pretty. Well, pretty for a creepy picture. 
this is going to be awesome to color. This poor alien. I mean, the alien killed the astronaut, it looks like. But I love it. With the fingers. This one was fun to color, too. I love how you can see the skull and the skin just dripping off and the eye. And this is how I colored it. I used, um... I use mostly the pro markers on here. What are they called again? Um, Windsor Newton pro markers in the flesh colored. I bought the flesh pack, and I love them because there's like no, um, you don't see any lines, creases, nothing. I just love it. That's the last one I colored in here so far. I got these wolves. Look at this. How creepy is that? That is a horror movie waiting to happen right there. I absolutely love it. I think it is fantastically drawn. And even if you don't love horror, you have to admit the art it was really well done. Talk about night terrors. How creepy is that? Ooh. I love him. Zombie. The hair. Everything is really, really well drawn. And Mortis. This is the end. But what I like about her pages is she does give you, like, you can draw your background if you want. She gives you room to play with the pages, which I really, really like. So, I think that Mortis was the end. Of the, yeah, that's the end. And then it starts back over again. There's a couple of tester, you know, pages at the back. And, um, the, this is the, um, the contents, the themes. Her interpretations of them. And that's it. I really, really like it. I will uh, put a link to where you can purchase this down at the bottom. And um, go check it out. Um, she's a new artist and we really need to support our new artists. So um, let me know if you purchased it. Please like and subscribe. I really appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.